There's nothing that sounds quite like a 51. I don't think I ever remember not wanting to be a pilot. When I was uh, very small, I remember a dream that I used to have constantly that I could run fast and flap my arms and fly. And from that time on, I wanted to be a pilot. I used to build model airplanes. When my son was small, we used to build them together and both of us became pilots. But I never ever remember not wanting to fly. I got my pilot's license uh, in 1959. I'm asked about this a lot at my age, you know, are you competent to fly? And really, it, it depends on how much training you do. I do lots of training. I make sure that I do constant approaches. I make sure that I am constantly pushed. I never allow myself to get too comfortable. Uh, I do a lot of uh, exercise, and it's very, very important. As you get older, uh, undoubtedly our reaction time is less. Uh, so the physical activity, the mental activity is good for you keeps you sharp, keeps you alive, keeps you happy and passionate. I think all of us strive for a greater degree of education and in flying, you've never mastered the skill. It's something you work at constantly. Being a pilot, being able to do this is a huge, huge commitment. I mean, to, to be physically and mentally alert and be able to do that when you want to do it in weather of almost all types is, is amazing and it's a freedom I can't describe really. It's unparalleled. Uh, I look out, see those engines running, realize that I'm doing this. <laughs> This is really possible. This is really something that has taken a life long commitment to accomplish. We're gonna fly around over this gorge here, which is quite pretty, then around that way and come back in. And Neil is one of my favorite customers. You know, I'll say, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna go practice. And his experience level and, and many years he's been flying the airplane, and Neil will still take the time, come out to Havasu and say, you know what, I'm just gonna go out and I'm gonna practice some approaches. I'm gonna go out and I'll come back and I'll fuel up again and then I'll go home but I'm just gonna go out for a half hour and just kind of practice a little bit. That is it's so uncommon to see, uh, in, in our, especially uh, with, with that level of skill level and, and, and piloting ability uh, to say, I'm still gonna go out and I'm still gonna practice. It's really, a, it's really special. We don't see that a lot with our customers. Never would have dreamed I would have had such an airplane as this. Uh, it's an amazing thing to ever have happen. This was a goal. The day I sold my company, I bought this airplane. 